Hello. Hello, my mindful yogis. Welcome back to Move Nourish Hill. I'm Mike. I'm up here in Muskoka. I'm catering another retreat weekend for a group of ladies up here. I'm there doing their thing inside and it just looks so beautiful that I wanted to get out here and film some yoga for you um, out on the dock here. So there's a little bit of wind that keeps picking up so I got the poof ball here. Hopefully um, the audio is all right and uh, just taking in some of the beautiful scenery and moving. I want to move so it's about um, 12 degrees Celsius right now so it's a little chilly just a little bit not <laughs> definitely not the coldest I've been doing some yoga outside but uh, I want to move so we're gonna do a one breath one to three breaths per pose, journey into power. Some of the poses just don't warrant only one breath, but definitely um, gonna have a pace, keep moving forward, and uh, just listen to your body, right? If you need to take rest when I'm not resting, just rest for a moment and join back in whenever you can. And uh, yeah, challenge yourself to keep moving and keep up with the pace if that's possible for you. Okay. Subscribe to the channel before we start. If you haven't done that, please subscribe. Comment below after if you enjoyed this. If you want to see anything specifically on the channel, please comment and let me know. And uh, yeah, just share it with anybody that might enjoy some Muskoka dock yoga. Okay, so we're going to start in child's pose. Um, we'll take a few breaths to land and then we'll start to move. Okay, so knees nice and wide. Toes touching and just settle back onto your heels. Right away, start to bring more awareness to your breath. Nice long inhales, long exhales. And especially when we're moving with a pace here, like don't clip your breath. Make sure you're doing the fullest breath you can audible breath and downward facing dog lift up onto your toes bend your knees step between your hands up to a flat back fold extended mountain pose reach up the sky the ceiling Hug into your legs. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Lower down. Upward facing dog. Press your knuckles into your mat. Downward facing dog. Hips back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Hop or step to the top. Flat back, fold, extended mountain, reach up, look up past your fingers, your eyes open, fold, up to your center, to your belly button, squeeze in, flat back, eyes at the top of your mat, chaturanga dandasana, step or shoot back, low plank, upward facing dog, pull your chest through your arms, downward facing dog, hips back, take a full breath in. Take a full breath out, lift, bend, and hop. We're moving today, flat back. Stay with it, fold. Extended mountain, go up and back. Start to wake up your core, pull in, and then fold, hug into your legs. Lengthen the spine. Chaturanga Dandasana, lower down. Upward facing dog, lift up. Downward facing dog, root down. Take a breath in, empty it out. Bend your knees, look forward, hop or step, flat back, fold. Extended mountain, again, find your biggest one right here. Get small, squeeze into your legs, lengthen. Chaturanga Dandasana, moving with your breath, find that, flow, upward facing dog, lift your thighs up, downward facing dog, empty out, take a full breath in, full breath out, lift up, bend, empty, pause, feel that empty lungs and then fly to the top of your mat, right away, lengthen, fill with air, 
fold. Empty it out. Extended mountain. Last one. Go up. Keep reaching back. And then fold. Get small. Hug in. Lengthen the spine. Belly strong. Pull it in. Chaturanga Dandasana. Keep that core, that engagement through center. Upward facing. Lift your thighs up. Downward facing dog. Empty out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Do that again. A big inhale. A big exhale. Lift. Bend. Hop to the top. Flat back right away. Fold forward. Utkatasana, chair pose. Just the one breath. Keep sitting down. And then fold. Lengthen your spine. Chaturanga Dandasana. Lower down. Upward facing. Really strong here. Lift your thighs. Downward facing dog. Right foot between your hands. Warrior one. Use the inhale. Keep reaching for it. Keep lengthening the upper body. Chaturanga Dandasana, lower, and float your toes if that's there for you. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left side, feet to fingers, full body expression. Chaturanga Dandasana, you move with your breath. Upward facing, lift up, downward facing dog. Starting to build that heat, inhale, exhale. Lift onto your toes. Bend your knees, hop or step, flat back, hug in, chair, sit low, and fold, halfway lift, chaturanga dandasana, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, right side, warrior one, breath, to expand your pose, your full body. Chaturanga Dandasana, moving with breath. Vinyasa, upward facing, downward facing dog. Left side, root and rise. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathe in, press down. Hug your belly and come up onto your toes. Bend your knees, squeeze into center, hug, and then hop to the top. Flat back. Fold. Utkatasana, so even deeper. Uttanasana, hug into your legs. Get small here. Halfway lift. Flow. Lift up. Hips back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more sun salutation B. Together we move. Lift, bend, hop. Flat. Fold. Chair. Fold. Flat back. High to low plank. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Warrior one. Press, reach, flow, up dog, down dog, left side, use the breath, reach for it, Chaturanga Dandasana, empty out, fill your lungs, downward facing dog, building heat, feel that heartbeat increase, Bend your knees, work with your body, hop to the top, flat back, fold, chair, fold, lengthen, and flow, up, back, right side reach. This is your last one here. Find fullest expression and then flow it out. Use the breath to move your body. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Last one. Left side. Press. Pull in. Reach every finger. Flow. 
Move that energy through your body. Upward, you lift. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Feet together. Lift the right foot up, bend. Get light. Flip your dog. Take a breath in, lift your hips up. Flip back over, high plank. Moving yogi, side plank. Left arm up. One breath in, full expression. Whoop, it's windy. <laughs> Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. You just keep moving. Feet together, left foot goes up. Bend your knees, stack open, and then flip. Take one breath, get your hips high, and then flip back over, high plank. Side plank. Use the breath. Find your full expression. Play, lift, and flow. Chaturanga Tandasana. Move. Upward. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Open your mouth. Sigh. <sighs> Soften your joints. Come up onto your... I'm sorry. Lift your right foot up. Step your right foot between your hands. Inhale up. Crescent lunge. Hands to heart center, twist. One breath here, lengthen the spine. Feel that deepening of the twist. Warrior two, open. Settle into the lunge. Take a full breath here, in. Full breath out. Extended side angle. Think a little deeper. Take an inhale right here. Chaturanga Dandasana, moving again. Together, lift yourself up. Downward facing dog. Left foot, crescent lunge. Come up onto those back toes. Lengthen on your inhale, twist on your exhale. Keep that lift in the back heel. Really wrap your shoulders onto your back. Warrior two, sink into your front knee. Full breath, inhale, exhale. Extended side angle. Possibility here, like find your fullest opening. Chaturanga Dandasana, move with your breath. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Onto your toes, bend your knees, hopper step, flat back, and fold. Chair, twist. Hook the left elbow on your right knee. Sink down into your seat. Also good, take one more breath, yeah? Here, twist it out. And release. Feet hip distance, fingers to toes. Let's do three breaths here. And just let your head go. Feel the heat you're generating. Feel the breath, the heartbeat. Just take a moment to slow it down. Move, chair twist, come back, feet together, heels apart, and then twist to the left side, chair, integrate the shoulders, take one more full breath here, really feel your upper body twisting, engaged, and release, gorilla pose, wider feet again, and then palms under the feet, we'll do three breaths here again too, so it's like a recharge, soften where you can. Two more breaths. Really generous, restorative breaths in. And soften even more. Release your feet, crow pose. Take a breath to get into it and then take a breath in the pose, okay? So this is like the first breath, you set it up, you land, inhale, exhale, shoot back. Upward facing dog on your breath in. Downward facing dog. Onto your toes. Bend your knees. Keep moving, yogi. You got this. Hop. Flat back. Fold. Reach all the way up. Eagle. On your right side. Yeah, right arm under. Right leg over. Oh, the neighbor's dog is out. That's okay. We're like right into cottage country here. There's lots of people around. He was barking earlier, he might stop. <laughs> That's okay. Hear the sounds you hear in your space and don't be taken out by them. Sweep your arms up. That was a little more than a breath. We'll do two on this side, just even it out. 
inhale, sink deeper, breath in, breath out, sweep up, right side, eagle again, hug the inner thighs, the inner biceps, squeeze on the breath out and then explode open, switch sides, eagle on the left, breathe in and breathe out. Reach up, standing leg raise. Yeah, so you'll grab onto, whoop, grab onto your right knee or your right foot, open it up. Take a breath in here, empty your knee, well, empty your lungs, bring your knee back to center, fly back into airplane pose. Make sure that bottom foot's at 12 o'clock. Inhale to lift the pose higher, hands to heart center, half moon. Just a breath right here, find fullest expression yogi, and then fold or fall out, that's okay too. Halfway lift, squeeze into the legs. Sweep up, might look a little different when you're moving with velocity, right? That's okay, if you fall out, if you stumble, just begin again, open up, standing leg raise, come back to center, fly into airplane pose. Generating stability through muscle engagement, through focus, lift higher. Hands to heart center, open to half moon. Maybe you can hover your fingers for this breath. Who knows, see what's possible. Lift and open and fold. Sweep up. Dancer on the right side. We're gonna move here. One breath in to get into it and then release. Left side, dancer, set it up, kick back, release. Right side, dancer's pose, your fullest right here. Big breath, switch sides. One more, kick, lift, and release. Tree pose, yeah? Feeling the trees around me here. There's something magical about being this close to a forest when you're doing yoga, just when you're doing anything. Find tree, it's really sunny right now, so like I'm almost blinded, that's okay. Take a kickstand if you need. We'll do, we'll do a few breaths on each side here, just really expanding the body, accessing your fullest tree pose. Big breath in and release, switch sides. Tree for three breaths and just every breath, look for expansion. Maybe you stumble, that's okay. Trying to mount ground my toe mounds down into like a crack between the boards of the dock. That's not gonna work. Just find stability however you can. Take a big breath in and release. Sweep up, fold, flat back, chaturanga dandasana. Upward facing dog, lift, downward facing dog, empty out. Right foot into warrior one. Step your foot between your hands, reach up. Open to warrior two. Triangle pose, straighten the front leg, reach forward, come down. Take a full breath cycle here. Really expand the front of your chest. Exhale your shoulders onto your back. See your top hand, pull yourself up to stand and we'll take a wide leg forward fold. Right here. You know what, I'm gonna try a headstand, right? Like moving with purpose, we'll do a few breaths. If you practice headstand, go for it. If I end up in the lake, just bear with me, we'll see what happens. The dock's moving a bit. That's okay, we're here. Breathe, yogi, stay. Take one more breath wherever you are. Meet back in the wide leg fold. Just walk your hands over to your front foot pyramid. You can take a reverse namaste if you want the arm bind, like hands in prayer behind the back. Take a breath in. Let the upper body go. Lengthen, halfway lift. Release the bind, take a twist, yeah? Twisted triangle, right fingertips up. Lengthen your spine. Wrap that right shoulder blade onto your back. Look up, breathe in. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. Reach up, open to warrior two. Straighten the front leg. I feel like I'm looking angry in a lot of these poses, just the sun in my eyes. 
Yeah, if, you're, if I'm furrowing my brow, I do apologize. I'm enjoying this, this is beautiful. Take a breath in, reach, and open the chest. Come all the way up to stand. Interlace your hands at your low back, make like a fist. Push the knuckles down, lift your chest up, fold over your legs. Big breath in. Big breath out. Just a couple more here. Dangle the head. Soften the knees and the elbows. Take another breath. And release your hands. Turn your toes forward. Do pyramid. With or without a bind on this side, your choice. Whatever you want here, just for like a generous breath. Let the exhale melt your chest closer to your thigh. Breathe in here. Release the bind, twisted triangle. Lengthen your spine from your tailbone right to the crown of your head. Reach, twist, take a big breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. High plank, all the way down to locust. Come down to your belly, right away. Inhale, you pop up, exhale, come down. We're gonna move. Locust again, lift on the inhale, squeeze, and then come down. Floor bow, but grab your ankles, kick back, lift up, take one breath in here, come all the way down. And windshield wipe the legs for a breath. <sighs> and then go up again, set it up, into it right away, you breathe, you expand, and you release. Upward facing dog, lift up. Downward facing dog, empty out. Come down onto your knees. Move into camel pose. Hands at the low back, lift your chest. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Sit onto your heels for a breath. Take one inhale, take one exhale. Back up, camel number two, find it. We'll do three breaths here on this one, feel it. This is like a pose you wanna really get into. Press the hips forward. Integrate the shoulders, inhale, exhale, come back up. You'll come down onto your back and move into a back bend, yeah? So bridge to start, we'll do a bridge pose. Get into it. Take a couple breaths here. For the wheels, I'm gonna do six wheels, one like inhale up, exhale down, I'm just gonna do that six times, okay? With no breaths in between. If that sounds crazy to you, amazing. See if you can do it. See what happens, yogi. Take a breath in, come down. You can also stay up just for six breaths if that sounds more enjoyable or maybe that's a challenge. Go for it, okay? Going up though, we're gonna move here. Inhale, wheel, exhale, come down. Five more, breathe in, go up. And come all the way down. Again, lift, number three. Come down. Full breaths. Use that lift. Expand. Come down. Just two more. You got this. Go for it. Lift up. Full expression. Come down. Do one more. Let's hold this one. Three breaths. I lied to you. Yeah, go for it. Find something interesting. Get playful. Two more breaths. In and out. Play and flow, last one, breathe and lift yourself high, come all the way down, soles of your feet together, knees wide, right hand on the belly, left hand on the heart, take three breaths here as well, yeah, just land for a moment, feel that heartbeat, feel the warmth on your skin and your body that you've generated, and just cool down, one more here, huh, <sighs> Grab the outsides of your feet, happy baby. Just feel that for like two breaths, rock from side to side. Breathe in, breathe out. Feet up, 
hands behind your head. Lift your shoulders and we'll do some scissor legs here, alternating legs, nice strong straight legs. Keep going here, breathing. Shoulders lift, ribs to hips, feel that core engagement. Do another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And both feet up. Bring your hands under the low back here. We'll do some leg lowers, okay? 30, 60, 90, lowers, lower down, not 30%. Breathe in, 60%. Inhale, just off your mat. Look at your toes. Breathe in, breathe out, lift your feet back up. Exhale down 30%. Fill, lower another 30. Strong core, Uddiyana Bandha muscles, pull in, just off your mat, look at your toes, pull your pinky toes back towards your face and then inhale up. Last one, lower a third, breathe in, another 30%. We'll inhale, just off the mat. Look at the toes, flex the feet. Breathe in, we'll hold for the breath out. You got it, yogi. Lift your feet back up, really good. Hands behind your head. Bend the knees, bicycle twists. Just alternating here. Really pressing the feet forward, like feel the muscles and the legs working. The upper body helping you lift and twist. Keep going here, keep your breath. Keep the pace, do another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees in, grab the backs of your knees, start to rock, do a couple rocks front to back. Oh, that feels weird on the dock. <laughs> Come up to a boat pose, Navasana. Three breaths, just find it. Yeah, take a second to set it up. Take a breath to feel it. Take one more breath to expand it and then rock back. Make your way into downward facing dog. Pedal out the knees. Half pigeon on the right side. So we'll start doing like three breaths per pose for these, okay? So don't waste time, set it up. Maybe you like do all kinds of things, blocks and props and stuff to get into these poses, but like you don't have time for that today, Yogi, keep moving. You'll miss the pose if you think about the setup too much, the form too much, right? Like you, if you're doing this with me, you've probably done this practice before plenty of times. And if you haven't, amazing acknowledgement to you. So good. But if you're like comfortable with it, then don't waste time. Switch sides. Half pigeon on the left. How often are you analyzing your yoga practice instead of being in it and feeling it and doing it? Doing is different than thinking about it, trying to get it right. Let your body guide you. It's your best teacher. Take another breath. Empty it out. Sweep your right leg around, double pigeon, yeah? So the right leg stacked on top of the left. Square your hips. Let's make sure one hip's not way further forward and then you can start to fold. Again, we're in three breaths now for the rest of these poses mostly. So just like taking your time. I mean, three breaths feels so luxurious after it's been one breath, right? Just like all of this time you have. Use it wisely, Yogi. Don't waste it. Breathe in. Go deeper. Switch sides. Just opposite leg on top here. Left leg on top. It doesn't really matter very much which side you did first. Just get right into it. Feet are flexed. Sit bones back. Fold over the legs. Wake me up here with a tall spine. Yeah, if your, your spine straight feels better. If you have the mobility, you can round it. A couple more. In. Out. Do that again. Frog pose. I promised you the whole journey into power. We're not going to skip one of the best poses, right? Only three breaths, which is not very long in this pose, okay? Don't take five breaths to set it up. You don't have time for that. You need to get there. If you need to fold the mat or anything like that, go for it. But just like really focus on landing and feeling the pose. 
Take two more breaths from here, right? We gave you the breath to set it up and then three in it. Big breath in. Big breath out. Just take a breath to gently come out of the pose, okay? Maybe it's even almost two breaths. Don't rush it. Both legs out in front of you. Take your right foot to your inner left thigh, seated single leg extension. You'll fold over the left leg. Flex the toes. Fold even deeper. And switch sides. Set it up. Intentionally, and then activate your legs. Pull in your core, fold. Inhale. Exhale. up to sit. Both legs out in front of you. Take a seated forward fold. Again, get the sit bones out from behind you. You want to have that space. Belly engaged. Nice long spine. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. And come back up. Reverse tabletop or reverse plank, okay? So reverse plank, your legs are straight. You lift up. Reverse tabletop, your knees are bent. Take another breath, wherever you are, find the fullest expression and slowly come down. Fish pose, we'll do three for this one. Fingertips just underneath the tops of your bum cheeks, come under your forearms, lift up through the center of your chest. Just let your head go. Breathe in, breathe out. One more big lift through the chest. Slowly come down. Just go in right onto your back. You can move into shoulder stand. You can move into waterfall. If you have, like, you can hands or a block underneath your low back for waterfall. Let's take a couple more breaths here, yeah? Feel that inversion. Get into your fullest expression. Breathe in. Breathe out. If you're in waterfall, stay where you are or move into plow. If you're in shoulder stand, press your heels back. Really feel that lengthening in the legs. Option for knees to ears. One breath in, one breath out. Slowly roll out onto your back. Extend your left leg, supine twist. The right knee draws into your chest and then cross your right knee over your body. Keep your shoulders glued down onto your mat. You can use this left hand to kind of guide the leg across. Don't force anything, but just like kind of gently deepening. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Come back through center. Switch sides, left knee in, cross it over your body. Inhale, use the breath to deepen that twist, that opening. One more breath here. Deepen. Supta, Baddha, Konasana, soles of the feet together. Knees wide, right hand on the belly, left on the heart. Just take a few breaths. Let yourself land. Acknowledgement. Good work. You made it this far with me. Just feeling that heat that you built, feeling the vitality that you generated in your body. Take a breath in, take a breath out. If you hear beats in the background, the ladies are up in the house doing a pretty intense workout. So it's also like, got some energy coming from that here. And you'll hug your knees into your chest. And just allow yourself to land in Shavasana. We'll just do five breaths in Shavasana. Like just allowing yourself the five breaths in stillness is better than skipping it all together, right? And just really cultivating the experience of stillness and rest. Take four breaths.
big breath in, big breath out. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Take a full body stretch, reach for it. Roll onto your right side. Bring yourself up to a seated position. Keep your eyes closed. Sit up nice and tall. Hands at the center of your chest. Really feel your spine tall, your shoulders back, really like sitting tall and proud. We will finish this fiery flow with an ohm together. Take a breath in. <laughs> she just opened the door to get some air. So, okay, we're going to call that a day. That's my cue to quit. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. And please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like. Hit the notification bell if you haven't done that so you know when new content comes and stay tuned. Keep moving your body, keep nourishing your body, stay connected to your yoga practice, and I will see you again really soon, yogis. Have an awesome day.